G'day kids. Welcome back to another physical activity lesson today with me. My name's Adam. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm glad you've made the decision to get up and get active today. We've got lots to do. Uh, we're gonna have a look at some athletics and a little bit later, we're gonna have a look at a new challenge called Ramp It Up, which is a great deal of fun. So let's get stuck into it. We're gonna start off with a health hustle. Let's get moving. Okay, kids, on your feet, join with me. Let's get marching. Swing those arms and let's move into a jog. Feet up at the back. Terrific. All right, we're gonna go into our jump step. Let's have a look at that slowly. And now let's build it up. Use your arms here too. Terrific work. All right, we'll do the cross step now. So cross like this. And let's build that up. Good work, hang in there. Well done. All right, you might remember this if you've seen a video earlier. Let's have a look at a diamond jump. So it starts out wide, and we're going to go and swap those legs over. All right, you're keeping up. Great effort. Ooh, great start. All right, we'll get back to our step jump. Use the arms. Great warm up. And now let's just jog that off. Let's try and knees up this time. And we'll walk that off. Okay guys, I can feel huffing and puffing, my heart is beating. Great warm up, let's get ready for our main activity. Okay kids, I'm sure you can remember the Tokyo Olympics uh, from last year, I think they were in July, August last year. There were some fantastic stories, really fantastic stories and sportsmanship and wonderful performances as well. One that stood out for me was young Aussie sprinter called Rowan Browning. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a warm up, then we're gonna do the event that Rowan ran in. So he was a 100 meter sprinter and he ran in 10.01 seconds, which is actually the fastest time of an Australian at the Olympic Games ever. What an amazing effort. Let's get ready, because we're gonna start with a track star warm up. This is about preventing injury, but it's also about enhancing or improving your performance. This is what Rowan would do before he'd go out and do his race. So let's get ready for a track star warm up. We're gonna start with just a jog. That's right, knees up. And then we're gonna go into these hops. Have you seen the athletes do this before they, they go out or even this? footballers or the netballers. And then we're gonna do some lunges. That's right, we'll do two on each. And we're gonna do what I call up and backs. So we're gonna go back to start with and then forwards. Do about four of these. That'll do. Okay, now we can do some zigzags, just to get our legs warmed up for some speed. So I'm gonna be moving all around, changing direction, just warming those muscles up too. Okay, this next one, I call them the milkshakes. So just like this, just to loosen up our back, our arms, great work. Okay, now last one is called a build up. So we can start, slow jog, up a little bit, and up again. Good, we'll do one more of those. Up a little bit, and up again. Great work. All right, a little stretch. This is a calf stretch, so my heel is on the ground at the back. If you have a look here, 
nice and tall, hips go forwards, swap over, that's right, so that's our calf stretch, we do a hamstring stretch, going to have foot out the front like this and just bend over at the hips, do that across the back here, swap over, that's right, and last our quads, these are going to drive us down the track for this 100 metre sprint. Whoa. That's right. Okay, we're all set for a Rowan Browning 100 metres. Get ready, I need your fastest effort for 10.01 seconds. Let's go to the start line. Okay kids, so welcome to the start line of the 100 metre sprint. What you might have noticed at these races is they have some equipment set up to help them get off to a flying start. These down here are called starting blocks, okay? So you'll see the athletes squat down a little bit like I am and, and rest their feet across these or up against these so they can push off with lots of power. They also have these special shoes and these are called running spikes. So you can have a look on the bottom here. They've got these metal spikes that give them a bit of grip on the track and help them get down the track as fast as they possibly can as well. All right, I think it's time that we take on the 100 metre sprint. Make sure you've got a safe space because you need to be ready to roll as fast as you possibly can. Let's go. Okay, kids, uh, we're at the start line for the 100 metres. We're going to introduce my other competitors. First of all, hands together for Kip. Here he comes. And Aaron as well. Come on, Aaron. All right, we're going to go into a start position up to the line, boys. We're going to start this race. I want you to copy us at home. We're going to go down into the crouch start position. So knee down next to my foot, hands out in front. When I say set, you probably know what to do. Pop up like this and then on go, away we go, on the spot as fast as you can, like Rowan, for 10.01 seconds. Take your marks. Set, go, and off we go as fast as we can. Halfway there. Chest out to the finish line and go. Fantastic race, guys, well done. That's a great start. All right, kids, how did you go? That was 100 meters in 10.01 seconds, about the, the distance of your school oval, probably. Uh, I hope you had fun with that. We're gonna now have a look at the 200 meters. I wanna to talk to you first about another event, it's a major event across the world, it's called the Paralympic Games. Now, it normally runs a couple of weeks after the Olympic Games, and it's for athletes with physical disabilities. One of my heroes is a young athlete runner uh, and jumper that went to two Paralympic Games, a young girl that grew up in Adelaide and made her way to Beijing and to London to represent Australia. Her name is Katie Parrish. So she ran in the 100, the 200, she did the relay and also the long jump. Let's have a go at the 200 now, like Katie. All right, boys, you ready to go? This race is going to take about double for the, obviously for the 100 meters. So we're gonna set the clock for 20 seconds, starting positions like we did for the 100, and 20 seconds as fast as you can go. On your marks. Set, go. So this is 200 meters. We've gotta go round a little bend first. That's right, and now into the straight. Nearly there, five more seconds. And lean for the tape, well done. Okay, so that was the 200 meters. How did you go at home? The next event we're gonna have a look at is the hurdles. I think it's time now just to have a quick little drink while we get the hurdles set up, ready to go. Welcome to the hurdles. We've got five hurdles to jump over. This is along the straight for the 100 metre track. Uh, this is gonna take us probably about, just a little bit over 10, 12 seconds maybe. Let's see how we go. So take your positions, on your marks. Set, and go. First hurdle, up, up, up. up. 
and finish off. Great effort. Okay, kids, that was a terrific effort. We've actually qualified for the finals. So we're gonna do the hurdles finals right here, right now. I want you to be ready to roll on your marks. The Olympic hurdles final from the lounge room. Set, go. One more, and finish off, finish off, and fantastic effort, guys. So terrific effort, you've done a 100, a 200, and a hurdles. Great work on the track today. I wanna to show you a field event in a minute. Grab yourself a drink, and we'll come back and talk about high jump. Okay, kids, here's a fun fact for today. Tokyo Olympics, Nicola McDermott for Australia, was a silver medalist in the high jump. Now high jump is where you run into the, to the mat and you've got to go over the bar and they land on their back with their feet in the sky. Nicola jumped two meters and two centimeters. I've got Kip here to show us how high that is. He's gonna to have to step up on this little ladder here. Nicola McDermott, 202. Now the world record for high jump, this is just mind blowing, is two meters, 45 centimeters. Kip, can you put it up near that 245? Can you believe that? The world record for high jump. All right guys, it's time to move to the challenge. I'll see you then. All right kids, welcome to today's challenge. It's called Ramp It Up. This is a load of fun. What you're gonna need is a ball of socks, two shoes, a hard covered book. So you've got nice hard cover and I've got some cups here, but you can use some different things. I'll show you, I'll talk about that in a minute. So the idea is that you can slide your sock along the ground. If you're on carpet, you could use a ball. The sock will roll as well, see how you go. Slide it along the ground, hit the ramp, and try and take out the cups. I've been playing this at home all week, it's great fun. Let's have a look at how it works. Yeah, all right. Now there's some different uh, ways that you can set this game up. You can use the cups to start with, but then I'm gonna try the washing basket or the shoe box. You can try it like this to start with to try and get it into the shoe box. And then for a bigger challenge, put it like this and see if you can get it to land in the red box. All right, there's your challenge. Go away and have some fun with that. I'll see you next time.